I try my best to capture everything in its most authentic way possible. Things that deal with, with my culture, being Chicano, someone that identifies as Mexican, capturing portraits of people that look like me, my generation, we like a lot of body art, tattoos, things like that. Things that I think that are really important that explain the symbols of where we are, what connects people in, in place, right? What connects us to New Mexico? And what I discovered is something really interesting that a lot of my subjects, they, when I tried to dig a little bit deeper to see where they come from and, and who they are, one of the first things they tell me is, I'm New Mexican. What compels you into making these portraits? When I find someone that I think has a really interesting look, I think that's one of the main things too, right? Is being able to look into someone's eyes and, and seeing something that just really strikes you right away. I, I think there's a philosopher that says that there's almost, it's almost kind of like a pin prick or like a needle prick, something that just kind of hits you like right away and you just know it. Those are the feelings that I tried to follow, and I usually get that within a few seconds of, of seeing someone. The first time I ever went to a bar, I had a fake ID. I went with my homegirls, I went with a couple females, and I was just there to have some drinks. I was supposed to go to Denver the next day. One thing led to another, and I got into some gang-related stuff there, and got into a fight and got stabbed. I remember I was just bleeding out, and asking the paramedics, yeah, you think I'm gonna make it? And they're like, we don't know, so. It was just a crazy feeling. It was just an unsure, uneasy feeling. I thought maybe I might make it, maybe I might not. I said a little prayer. Whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. It's up to my higher power and like whatever is gonna be is gonna be. That's all pretty much I'll say about that. When you meet a subject what lets you know that you would like to continue with interviewing them or getting to know more about them? What, like, for instance, you know, what is her story? This is Miranda. I met Miranda on Central Avenue in 2018. It was just another one of my nights where I was just driving up and down Central Avenue, uh, just getting some food and just driving around and seeing different spots, different buildings that I thought were very interesting that I wanted to capture. And, I saw Miranda on the street. She said that she was a sex worker. I asked her, is it okay if we take some of your portraits? And she said, sure. Why did you want to take her picture? I saw this look in her eyes and it, it really pierced me and it like stopped me in my tracks that that's something that I should follow. How do you get people to share their stories with you? Yeah. When I first started, it was me contacting people that I used to use with. Um, people that I've met on the streets and different neighborhoods in Albuquerque's war zone off of Central Avenue. I wanted to see how they were doing first off to see if, um, if everything's okay in their life. But I also wanted to see if they wanted to partake in this new project that I wanted to do where I wanted to kind of catalog and inventory some of the experiences visually that I've that I've endured when I was using drugs, when I was trying to get clean. I felt that there was a responsibility for me to kind of go back to this space, go back to these places and uh, use my camera to, to capture some of the feelings and the emotions and things that I didn't really deal with head on. I was always trying to figure out what I needed to do because my dad wasn't always there. There wasn't always someone there to mentally keep my mind up. It's more me trying to just figure it out. And, you know, at the end of the day, me trying to figure it out was hurting someone else.
What happened when you engaged Carlos around taking his portrait? I saw Carlos at UNM, on the UNM campus. He was just driving around. And um, I saw he had two different colored eyes. He actually said no at first, but he gave me his contact info. So I was just going back and forth with him over like several months. And then he finally said yes. He's like, you know what, just come over to my house. We'll take some photos. And I was like, thank you so much. Thanks for letting me do this. And this was at Carlos's house here in Albuquerque that I took this portrait. What attracts you to that thing? Or what is that thing? It's almost like a fire that's, that starts inside of someone that you know that can get a little bit bigger. You might be able to control it in a certain way and, and hone it and to make it useful. What impact do you have on that fire for them? I feel like it's in between us, between their face and the camera, between their perspective and looking in the camera. There's this space in between the, the subject and the photographer. What's an example of that? I get that feeling that this person, like Carlos or like the twins, that they've been here forever. Mm. And I, I get that from their looks, just it. Like, it, it comes off of them, that feeling, and I want to capture that visually. Why is that important? A lot of people forget that, that people have a strong connection to a place. This place? To New Mexico, to different parts of New Mexico. Even though they might be moving around or they don't, they don't own land or they don't own the state, they don't control the state. There's something that, that anchors them. There's something that's deep within them. There's roots. What do you think that means, I am New Mexican? As an outsider, someone that wasn't born here, I feel that it's, it's something deeper than what I can understand that speak a lot to family mm -hmm. here in New Mexico. How do you relate to it personally? I relate to it by being able to identify it right away. Mm -hmm. It's something that I haven't seen before. A lot of my subjects have a lot of black and gray tattoos that, that they've received in the prison system, things that I haven't seen anywhere else, but there's a lot of pride in being from New Mexico. There's always that past that travels with you that has brought you up to that point, so I think there's a lot of respect that you have to have for that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Much respect to you for the triumph of healing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Frank. Thanks a lot.